What's up guys, Danny here, aka Danny Monster, this is going to be my room roundup of the iPhone 5 and what we can expect to see. Now the iPhone 5 is probably going to be expected to see a 4 inch screen. The 4 inch screen is probably the biggest thing to come to the iPhone 5. It's something that we've been waiting for for some time now. However, it will be coming along with a lot of other parts, such as the 9 pin dock connector. Now this is not something that everyone is too keen about because they are going to have to buy a converter between the 32 pin dock connector on the current iPhone 4 device and all other iDevices in comparison to the 9 pin dock connector. Now this is going to be for devices such as music players and whatnot, so it is going to be very helpful, however it is going to be an additional cost to most users. The only way Apple could try and combat this is by giving everyone who buys an iPhone 5 a converter device, but I highly doubt this would be the case. We do expect it to become a new shape, a two-tone body is something that's been hitting the internet for the last week or so. Now this two-tone body has been designed by Apple in California and we have seen it put together by the iLab. We do expect there to be a conference on September 12th with the launch to be on September 21st. Now we would expect pre-orders to land on the September 12th at the same time for all the carriers in the Europe and the USA and whatnot. And something interesting will be, will T-Mobile get their hands on it? Now this isn't something we will be discussing in this video, however I really think that Apple will probably try and utilise all carriers around the USA, so I do expect T-Mobile to get their hands on it. We expect an Apple A5X chip or something better. Now the A5X is something that we did see in the iPad 3, so we do expect a chip of parallel or an increased value for people using the iPhone 5. It is meant to be future proof for at least for a year. After all, Apple do only do one launch per year. We do expect there to be Apple Maps. Now we've seen this in the iOS. Apple Maps and the YouTube app will no longer live are the two big changes to iOS 6 alongside better integration with Siri and uh, obviously faster, smoother motion and obviously the better the processor on the iPhone 5, the better we expect. Now Siri, as I did mention there, is meant to be integrated so much more better. Uh, they are meant to encompass better voices, uh, more speech recognition, something it has to go head to head with Google Voice, which just keeps getting update after update after update after update. So this is something we do expect to see in the future. Now I expect the device to land on the 21st of September as mentioned previous and I will be getting the device on launch so Bloomcorp will be having an unboxing, a review, software to a comparison with the old phone, everything you really need. So make sure you do pop to our website www.bloomcorp.com to check all the latest and greatest news. We have also got a new redesign for the website coming that should be coming in the next month or so. We've been talking about this for some time now and it is in its closing stages so that's something we are really really excited to give to you. And equally our YouTube page just keeps getting more and more views. We just want to say a big thank you to you people out there. Obviously please subscribe and keep us going. Like the video because it really does help out and comment. Tell us down below what you expected to see in this video if we didn't cover it and we will drop our comment down below to tell you our opinions on it. I just want to say thanks for watching. Peace and this is Dan aka Dan Monster.